All right, guys, so we have a pretty good night for testing out lasers. We have a wide variety of lasers here to try out. Uh, we have a D-Ball A3, a civilian Maul, a PEC, a full power PEC, and a Purse 2. Uh, Mike, can you go ahead and start up that D-Ball A3 for me? And this is at 100 yards. Uh, yeah, at 100 yards. Um, this is as focused as the illuminator can get. Um, it's obviously able to hit that 100 yards. Um, but here in a second, you'll probably see where some of its shortcomings are. The dot, the laser is perfectly serviceable at 100 yards. Um, at 50, it is, uh, it's definitely going to get the job done. But at, at 100, it's probably the limitation of, of its performance. So you want to go ahead and hit that mall for me. So starting off in the long range uh, setting of the mall, uh, its illuminator obviously completely trounces the D-Ball A3. Uh, it is a very clean uh, illumination at 100 yards. At 50, obviously, it's going to be uh, probably a little overkill. But when you switch over to the close range setting, there's short range? There's mid. Mid. And then close range is, you can hardly tell. The flood is right out in front of us here on the close yeah, range mode. Yeah. So. So, so I'd say the, the mall, hands down, has some of the most easy ergonomics and settings to kind of go through um, but that's how it's typically performing at 100 yards all right and next is a full power PEC at 100 yards it's definitely able to illuminate that uh, that 100 yards uh, when we're able when we focus the illuminator we can obviously have that a little bit more honed in but uh, that right there is as wide as it goes. Obviously at 50, it's more than serviceable. Switching over to the Purst. The Purst is uh, putting out a, a, a lot of uh, IR. Uh, the Illuminator uh, clearly is, 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 is beating the pants off the other lasers currently. Um, there are some other limitations we'll get into later, but at 100 yards, it is, uh, is performing excellently. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn on all three at the same time so you can compare them. All oh, four. Four, sorry. All right. So at 100 yards, going from left to right, far left, we have the D Ball A3. The uh, next one in is the Civilian Mall. Then you have the Full Power PEC and the Purse 2. Um, at 100 yards, I think all of them are serviceable, but obviously uh, some are putting out a lot more IR than others. Okay, guys, so we have the same four lasers lined up at 200 yards. Mike, if you can go ahead and hit the D-ball for us. The D-ball, you can still pick up the laser at 200 yards. The illuminator is starting to struggle a lot more. If you start having a, um, a full moon night, you're not going to be able to see that illuminator at all. Um, but on a very cloudy night, the uh, D-Ball is stable, still able to illuminate uh, most of those targets. All right. Uh, Mike, if you can go ahead and turn on the mall. The mall in long range mode at 200 yards is clearly able to illuminate all of the targets that are down there. Um, switched over to mid range, which is still pretty impressive. You're able to get that nice flood directly in front of the laser as well as still maintain that illumination out to uh, 200 yards, which is uh, pretty nuts. And the full power PEC. At 200 yards, the full power PEC is uh, illuminating that pretty well. Can you tighten the, uh, the focus ring on the illuminator, please? All right, so you can tighten that uh, pretty substantially. Uh, almost make it into a second beam, but for uh, our, my purposes, I usually keep it fairly wide open. And I'll go ahead and get the Purst. The Purst at 200 yards is obviously illuminating the berm uh, pretty substantially. Um, one of the downsides to the Purst is you're not able to focus the illuminator very well. Um, you can focus it a little bit, but then you start uh, losing the cap because uh, it will eventually fall off. But at 200 yards, it's still not an issue. It's just uh, giving you a nice broad illumination. We have the four same lasers uh, at 300 yards. 
Mike, if you can hit the uh, D-ball for me. The D-ball at 300 yards is still able to uh, reach out with the laser, but the illumination at this point is uh, not really existent. Um, again, this is optimal uh, conditions for the D-ball on a cloudy night with no uh, moon. It's, it's doing fairly well, um, but on a very uh, lit night, it's going to start to really struggle. But in this circumstance, uh, at this point, the illumination is not really reaching out to that 300-yard mark. If you want to switch over to the mall, please. The mall in the long-range mode is still able to easily reach out to that 300-yard uh, mark. It's able to have a nice clean dot for the laser, and it's also... Uh, clearly uh, illuminating the targets. Switch over to the mid-range just so we can go ahead and see what that looks like. Mid-range, still pretty impressive at being able to light up directly in front of you and then still being able to reach out to that 200, oh, sorry, that 300 yard mark. And the full power peck. Full power peck, same thing. Uh, it's able to hit that 300 yard mark uh, very easily. It's illuminating all those targets clearly and the beam is uh, still very, very strong. You can go ahead and hit that one for me. And last is the Purst 2. Purse 2 is very clearly uh, illuminating that berm at 300 yards and that dot is still very, very clear. It is pretty impressive what it can do. Yeah. All right, guys, one last test for the four lasers. This is at 500 yards. Uh, go ahead and start off with the D-Ball A3. Uh, the D-Ball A3 at the tightest setting on the Illuminator is obviously not able to reach that 500-yard uh, mark. The uh, laser is still performing ad admirably. Uh, it seems to be able to still pinpoint those targets just fine. Uh, let's go ahead and switch on over to that mall. The mall in the long range setting is able to illuminate those targets at 500 yards. The dot is very, very clear. Um, we've gone over the benefits of the mid range, but let's just go ahead and do that one more time. Mid range, you have the up close, still really well illuminated as well as that long range, which is uh, pretty flexible and awesome for uh, a good civilian laser. Switch on over to the PEC. The full power PEC, um, what's really nice about it is you can start focusing that illuminator more and more depending on how far your target is. Obviously at 500 yards it's performing fine, but as Mike tightens that illumination and or widens it up depending on what your needs are, um, it, it provides some uh, flexibility depending on what your distance is gonna be. Now, when we switch over to the purse two, um, one of the limitations you start having in this purse is the fact that it is not able to be focused, um, not not really. Um, it's still able to f to illuminate those targets fairly well, and that uh, laser is still able to to pinpoint them fairly well. Um, but one of the limitations of it is the fact that you can no longer uh, focus that that ring. Um, I'd say at 500 yards, it's still very very serviceable, and it's obviously illuminating uh, these berms very well. Um, but one limitation is when you start trying to push the distance on this. Um, so yeah. All right, guys. So one of the benefits of the purse two is the fact that it has a built in flashlight. The flashlight goes up to about a thousand lumens, um, starting off in a low setting at about 25 to 50 yards. Uh, the low setting is perfectly serviceable, but at hundred yards, obviously it's not able to really illuminate those targets very well. When we start cranking it up. Um, it's definitely what you'd be accustomed to coming from like a, a, um, a Surefire or something like that where you're getting that about a thousand lumen uh, throw. Now when we switch over to a mod light, you're still getting a pretty substantial performance boost between the two. Um, so it definitely does not dethrone mod light in terms of its performance. But if you look at them side by side, if you move it over to the right a little bit, it is definitely serviceable but side by side it, it's really no competition but if you're looking for one unit to uh, rule them all on your rifle the purse 2 is not a bad option 
uh, but the mod light's still gonna definitely outperform it. And what what model of mod light is that? It's the OKW. Okay, so OKW versus a Purse Two. 